Welcome. Do you wish you could visit a Disney park, but you look at the prices or the travel costs and you shake your head in sorrow, knowing you are too poor to afford even the slightest amount of that sweet Disney magic? Well, I have great news. You can visit the magic of the Disney parks from the comfort of your own home. Why do you look so disappointed? Minecraft recently released some DLC that recreated Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom in Minecraft form. You can explore the park, ride 15 complete recreations of actual rides, interact and get autographs from over 20 Disney characters, and to top it all off, you can even get some souvenirs. But wait, there's more. A few years ago, Microsoft released a game called Connect Disneyland Adventures a full 3D recreation of the original classic. Later in 2017, they re-released the game and dropping the Kinect requirement with 4K visual enhancement. You can explore all of Disneyland. Well, a version of Disneyland from around 2011. So no Galaxy's Edge. But you can interact with many different characters, go to gift shops, ride some rides. So both of these games sound fairly similar. But what game is better? If you can only choose one, what would be worth your time? Which is the better representation of a Disney park? I have five different categories. Number one, the park. What game gives you the best experience when you're just exploring the park? Number two, the rides. What game has the better rides? What's the better experience to enjoy a ride? Number three, the characters. What game has the best interactions with some of our favorite Disney characters? And number four, customization. What game lets you deck out your character the best and in the way that you want? And finally, number five, atmosphere and ambiance. What game feels most like you're at a Disney park? What game really captures that spirit? So let's start with the park. Each of these games features pros and cons when it comes to the park. Disneyland Adventure features a truly impressive recreation of Disneyland, a park full of life, color, and people, and it looks very accurate to the real deal. One downside I have with the park is that it's always daytime. I don't know how everyone else feels about it, but I've always thought that Disney parks were best when it was dark and nighttime. Just such a great atmosphere. But Disneyland Adventure's park also has many, many collectibles and hidden Mickeys for you to find. Characters will give you quests to go and complete around the park, giving you a fun objective to explore the park. You can even collect and buy a bunch of awesome pins. Now Minecraft. Minecraft also has a very impressive recreation of the park and points to this game for having a day and night cycle. And this is an issue that might bother some people and won't bother others, but it's the Minecraft look, the style. I don't mind it, but if you are looking for a more accurate recreation of Disney Park, I don't know if one made of Minecraft blocks is what you want. And the park is pretty much empty. It's a complete ghost town outside of some staff and characters. So for the first point, I gotta go with Disneyland Adventures. Disneyland 1, Disney World 0. The Rides. So Disneyland Adventures doesn't actually have many rides. The only ones you can actually ride is stuff like Astro Orbiter, they instead went with mini games that are based on the attractions. And I gotta say, they aren't great and they definitely aren't fun to play. Minecraft, on the other hand, does have full blown recreations of the rides. You sit there and ride all of Pirates of the Caribbean, all of the Haunted Mansion. Etc. It's awesome, and I bet if you play Minecraft in VR, it would be even more awesome. Minecraft wins round two. I'd much rather have full blown recreations of the rides than some really lame mini games. The characters. Both games feature characters around the park, and in both games, the characters just kind of chill in one spot. In Disneyland Adventures, you can get your autograph with characters, take your picture with them, do a high five or a hug. And most characters have quests for you to do that will reward you for completing them. Like with a special outfit for your character or a new item like a magic wand. And they are all voice acted. In Minecraft you can 
only really get your autograph from them and they will stand there silently staring into your soul making you question all of your life decisions that have led to this moment anyway point for round three goes to disneyland disneyland 2 disney world 1 customization each game offers some customization for your character in minecraft you can obviously use any skins you already own in minecraft in this dlc and you get a bunch of disney themed ones when you purchase it like Mickey and other characters and some characters from the park like the one I went with was the ghost from the Haunted Mansion and it's pretty cool. And you can also get souvenirs for your character like some Mickey ears, a backpack, even buy some plushies to carry around. It's pretty fun. Now on Disneyland Adventures you create your own avatar and dress them how you want. You can go to different stores across the park, purchase new pants, shirts, hats, costumes, and there's a pretty large selection of stuff that you can buy, so you should be able to find something that you like. This is a tough one because I think they both do a pretty nice job with customization. Let's just give one point to each game. They both did a solid job on this part. Also, look how cute it is when you carry around a plushie in the Minecraft one. Disneyland 3, Disney World 2. And now for our finale, will this end in a tie or a victory for Disneyland Adventures? So the atmosphere and ambiance in Minecraft is absolutely stellar when you are on the rides. They sound and capture the atmosphere of being on the ride perfectly, but it's when you aren't on the rides where this game suffers. When you're just walking around the park, you don't hear anything else going on. No other guests. Like I said earlier, the park is just empty. Not even the music is from the park. You get this weird generic sounding music when you're exploring and it kind of kills the atmosphere of being at a Disney park. But on the other hand, you have Disneyland Adventures and this game captures walking around Disneyland so perfectly. All the sights and sounds and music. I love hearing the Davy Crockett theme when you walk into Frontierland and you hear the other attractions when you walk by Splash Mountain. You can hear and see people on the ride even though you can't actually ride it yourself. When it comes to the ambiance and atmosphere, while Minecraft does have a vastly superior ride, Disneyland Adventures does have a much better atmosphere and ambiance when you're in the park. So with a final score of Disneyland 4 and Disney World 2, Disneyland Adventures is our winner here, and they're both great. But if you had to choose one, I think Disneyland Adventures is just the better game. But massive, massive props to Minecraft for actually having faithful recreations of the rides. My biggest problem with adventures is that the rides are lame and they aren't even rides. I'd much rather have full 3D recreations of the rides than terrible mini games. So you put it as simply saying Minecraft has the better rides, but adventures has the better park. And a lot more stuff to do in the park. I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you've played either of these games, let me know what you thought. Have a good one. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The amazing, the colossal, the stupendous, the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water.